A secret society, a hospital, and a history of haunts. This week, we are bringing you stories of reported ghost sightings at local landmarks. And tonight, KCTV5's Nathan Vickers shows us the vineyards in Liberty, where the phrase wine and spirits takes on a different meaning. As journalists, we don't usually focus on the paranormal. But for this next story, we got to follow a group of ghost hunters at night, and it did get a little creepy. The strange history of the place didn't help. There's a little bit of everything in the story of the Belvoir Winery. We had orphans, we had old folks, people who were in good times, bad times, all those different kind of things. There's a lot of emotional energy out here. Jesse Limecooler and his wife began restoring this place more than 20 years ago. It started as an orphanage in 1900, run by a charitable society called the Odd Fellows, who also had a strange habit of keeping real human bones on hand. This is George. Uh, he's our resident skeleton. One of their members sits in a glass case inside. We treat him like a family member. Um, you know, we treat him with a lot of respect. We always say hi to him in the morning. We always say goodbye to him in the evening. Over the years, the Odd Fellows added a now vacant nursing home and hospital, a cemetery, and a German POW camp. There's roughly about 10,000 recorded deaths on site. That's why this time of year, the winery invites ghost hunting groups to roam the grounds. So the lights that are lighting up means there's some kind of energy over by that. We followed them as they used everything from flashlights, motion centers, and other tools of the trade to try to talk to the spirits inside. And then there's energy that can get right in between it and we'll turn the lights on. Our video is a little grainy because our cameras don't have night vision. It's kind of fun to come and do the ghost hunts. You never know what you're going to get. Um, it's different every night. Guides like Jennifer Best love taking skeptics along for the fun. A lot of people go away being believers after this. Skeptics like news crews. Tell me what happened. Did something bad happen downstairs? It got a little creepy when the flashlights seemed to turn on by themselves. Something did happen? In an abandoned basement, a child's toy lit up when an investigator asked questions. If you want to touch it and play with it and kick it, go ahead. Okay. Then a motion detector started flashing with no one around as one of the hunters played Halloween music. Do you like that? Can you make it do it again? Thank you. Then we heard something else in the room. Nope, it's a possum. Thankfully, it was just a possum. <laughs> Hopefully they experience something that they go away scratching their heads and I've had so many do that. Keith Ross runs the tour company that takes guests through the grounds. Well, we're going to get everybody back out. He says this kind of thing happens pretty frequently out here. Some of his investigators have taken photos they believe show apparitions. The interaction with the ghosts and spirits that are here, that's what you know, keeps us coming back. Maybe it's just the grapes, or maybe there's something else that roams these grounds. Either way, there's a lot of stories within these walls. I think it's so important because it adds that extra element that increases interest in the actual history of the property. Tomorrow night, we're going on another ghost hunt at a haunted mansion known for its beauty as well as the spirits within. Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.